So this is a uh, quick look at the new Apple TV interface. Now I've already installed a few things on it, um, but as you can see, it's got a lovely screensaver. You hit the menu button, I activated it. And, uh, and then you've got these nice new icons here, movies, TV shows. Oh, look at that, an app store. Not a whole ton of stuff in the app store. It's really curated right now. But there are some games. Uh, interestingly, a lot of the apps that were on the original Apple TV are not pre-installed for you. You have to go back and get them. So it's a lot of, you know, flipping through and finding things. They do have a purchased section. Oops. Uh, getting, <laughs> getting a little used to the touch thing on the remote. It's kind of hard to... Get used to that. Uh, and you can find your purchased apps. So these are things that you actually own in iOS elsewhere, like Test Lite, for instance. That's an interesting one to install on Apple TV. And you can then uh, install stuff that you already know you want to use. You do have to reset up all of your passwords and everything. Uh, but then, once you get stuff installed, these are the things I've gone ahead and installed first. They show up right down there the way they do on the other Apple TV. And you can try to use voice command. Now, I tried this earlier, uh, and it didn't work great. So let's see if I get the same results. Uh, as you can see, I have the Star Wars movies. So show me Harrison Ford movies I can watch. Voice recognition is really good. <laughs> Age of Adeline, obviously everyone's favorite Harrison Ford movie. Uh, no no Star Wars movies. Here are some Harrison Ford movies out. Hey, got Indiana Jones. It's a little better than it did with Luke Skywalker, or rather, uh, Mark Hamill. Uh, let's try this. I have, let's see if I can show you TV shows. Uh, I subscribe to a season pass of Haven, uh, the sci-fi channel show. So I want to watch the latest episode of Haven. Again, voice recognition is really accurate. Oh, look at that! Went right to it. Well done. I tried that earlier and uh, I got a more hilarious result. So good job there this time, Siri. Uh, one for two. Now, that ain't bad, although it didn't actually show me Harrison Ford movies. Um, let's try something a little harder. I want to watch a fun sci-fi movie. Now, I've tried this one. I can't find anything. There are no fun sci-fi movies. I can't find anything. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's... That's fun. Um, yeah, so there you go. App Store, your photos, your music, your apps. Uh, not a comprehensive look, obviously. I don't even think I have a whole lot of movies or anything. You did, as I mentioned, have to sign back into everything. They did a great thing during the setup where they allow you to sign into iCloud through your phone. That made that a lot easier. Uh, and so you actually can get your music <laughs> Although apparently I have to turn on my iCloud Music Library. I would like to do that. Turn on iCloud Music Library on this Apple TV. Yes, go ahead, do that. I'll let that do that. And I'll let you guys go, but there you go. That is a look at the new interface for Apple TV. Hope you enjoy.